Hello friends, this is the West Coast Math Tutor. Today we are going to ask the question if a negative number can belong to the solution set of a logarithmic equation. Spoiler alert, yes it can. Here's an example. Log base 2 of x plus 27 equals 4. Recall that we can write this in exponential form. So 2 raised to the power of 4 equals x plus 27. Two raised to the power of four as 16. And after subtracting 27 from both sides, we get x equals negative 11. We check our solution by substituting negative 11 into the original equation. So we get log base 2 of negative 11 plus 27 equals 4. 27 minus 11 is 16. And 2 raised to the power of 4 equals 16. So negative 11 is in the solution set. Although the solution negative 11 is negative, it does not produce the logarithm of a negative number in the given equation. Note that the domain of this expression is negative 27, comma, infinity, which includes negative numbers such as negative 11. Let's do one more example for the sake of practice. Log base 3 of x plus 2 equals negative 1. We can write this in exponential form. 3 raised to the power of negative 1 equals x plus 2. 3 raised to the power of negative 1 is 1 over 3 raised to the power of 1, which is 1 over 3. And after subtracting 2 from both sides, we get x equals 1 third minus 2. We can write the 2 as 6 thirds. So we get 1 third minus 6 thirds, which is negative 5 thirds. Let's check our negative solution by substituting negative 5 thirds into the original equation. log base 3 of negative 5 thirds plus 2 equals negative 1. We can write the 2 as 6 thirds. And 6 thirds minus 5 thirds is 1 third. Three raised to the power of negative one equals one third. So negative five thirds is in the solution set. This video is what I did for you. If you want to do something for me, hit the bell button, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning everyone.